So up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another solo training session. I'm kind of quite pumped for this session. It's going to be a little bit savage, I feel, on the legs. Um, we are going to be looking at some, some wrestling stuff, uh, which is always horrible when you're trying to drill it, in all honesty. Uh, I think the last time, we did one last week as well, which is quite wrestling based, and my, um, my legs are a little bit jelly-like by the end of it. But it's going to be a bunch of fun as well. We're going to be doing a, a three by two workout. So what the way that this works is we're going to do uh, three X, three different drills. We do them for a minute, and then we combine them for two minutes. So it's like kind of five minute rounds. There's going to be five of them, so it's going to be 25 minutes long. Every single one of those rounds involves a double leg in some way. Okay, so uh, you know it might be that that, that we're coming uh, using it as a, as a way to take down. Might be using it as an escape. Might be using it as coming up from a sweep. So that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to be working through it. So before we jump into this, I'm going to check, yes, the volume is on because I don't like having volume uh, issues. That, that really sucks when you do like a really cool workout and then no one can hear what you're saying. So that's a bit rubbish. So we're going to get into that. Um, we're going to be using a couple of different movements that you might not have worked. But before we do any of that kind of stuff, I just want to loosen you off a little bit. And then pretty much we're going to get into the workout. It starts a little bit easier and it's going to get a lot more challenging as we go. So as always, we're just gonna roll our hips from side to side. Okay, take your time, don't go too crazy. Try and loosen it off as best as you can. We're gonna do a couple of different ones today. This isn't gonna be our 10 and 10. I just wanted to just try and, you know, warm you up a little bit. We're gonna work through some of the exercises probably that we do as well. Okay, to loosen us off just a little bit. Okay, from here, I want you to go onto your back. We're gonna roll our hips from one side to the other. We can do this with our feet on the floor as well. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. It just kind of depends on your, uh, like how you're feeling, your back flexibility, all those kind of things. Okay, let's just take your time. There's no set time for this, no set number of reps. Just do a few and then work from there. If you're on a little bit more intensity as you go over, extend the leg out. Oh, and then get that, that good stretch. Oh yeah down the side and then use the abs to pull it back. Let's do some hip circles now. As we're gonna be doing like some sprawling and some, uh, some duck unders and stuff like that, I wanted to make sure that we're loosening off our back a little bit, which is gonna be so important. Switch direction. Nice. Good. Lovely, okay, now we're gonna do just some straight leg swings. So leg just swinging back and up. Very, very important to start loosening this off. And then same thing on the other side. Good. Don't need to go crazy. Like I say, we're just warming up. Just trying to get loose. Okay, now up on those tiptoes, just elevate the hips up as high as you can. Or well, not necessarily as high as you can, but just so we're starting to engage our glutes a little bit. Okay, you can do it on the heels as well if you want to. And really pull those heels back. Or we've got those tiptoes. Hey, your, your time, your training. Feel how you, you feel like you need to warm up again. Pause for a second or so at the top. Nice. Up from there. Good. Okay, so roll over onto the front. Okay, and we're going to use our scorpions. Yeah, I love a good scorpion. Good. Try and stretch that chest and that arm out. Uh, as you can see, there is no dummy involved today at all. Like, I, don't, I, haven't even, I haven't even got it over. That's how confident that I am that we don't need it. Okay, honestly, for, for all of these drills, they're, they're not, you don't really need a dummy to do any of them. There's maybe one that, that you might find it a little bit easier, one or two, but you should be, if you've done these sessions before, you'll know exactly what they are. Okay, uh, what was the next thing that I was going to do? I don't even remember what the next thing I was going to do was. So let's drop into just our low squat position. Again, really lovely way just to start loosening off our back. If you want a number of variations that we can do, one that I'm really liking at the moment is just rolling from going touching our knees and then trying to sink our hips all the way back towards the ground and then coming forwards again. Okay, I find this is a really nice little lower back loosener, but it also like it, it gets those uh, like tendons and stuff in my feet working and firing. Okay, so it's quite a nice thing. If you want, you can engage this position. You can get as low as you can. You can get your hips all the way to the ground, that's great. And then you can bring, oh, can't quite bring myself back up today. And then you drop back down again. So we just work through these two positions. 
Or if you can't do that, just hang out in like a low squat position, move around a little bit, whatever you want, it's all cool. Okay, now from here, we're gonna go into a lunge. Okay, and then I want you to turn towards the inside, so feet pivot, you're gonna pull it back into a Cossack stretch. And then lunge across to the other direction here. So I'm turning, my foot is pivoting up, I'm trying to drop into a Cossack. Move forwards, drop those hips into our lunge, and then go into our Cossack. Lunge, and into our Cossack, okay? If you want to, you can add this extra little fun twist on it, but right now, just focus on these two movements. Drop that hip down nice and low, yeah, and then pivot through to the other side. Okay, this is also gonna to start to warm up our, our legs quite a lot, ready for all the shooting that we're gonna be doing. Go to the other side, same thing. Nice. Really drop that hip down. Like if, right now I feel like I've got a little niggle in my hips, so I'm just gonna spend a little bit longer in that one position until I feel it relax a little bit. You know, remember on our Cossacks, our knee shouldn't cave in. We're not caving our, so when I'm here, my knee stays directly over my toe. It doesn't drop in this position. Super important. Okay. Good, nice. Okay, the last one we're gonna do, just some basic back rolls. Remember, we've got lots of variations that we can do. Go over our shoulder, it's cool. Yeah, nice. Or we can go straight back. I actually quite enjoy just doing this, this three. So coming over the shoulder one side, over the shoulder the other side, and then straight back. Okay, and just take your time. You notice I'm not dropping my, my legs to the ground, this is intentional. I'm trying to close this space. So I'm, this is how I play guard, or how you should play guard. And that's what we're trying to replicate when we do this. Really start engaging that core, working from there. Nice. We're gonna do one more because we're gonna use it in a second. So we're gonna do our, our sweeping movement, okay? I just want you guys to do it as a high movement to start with, so I'm not leaning back, but I'm bringing this foot in onto the top of my feet, and then dropping it back down. Okay, and just going one side to the other. Okay, take it nice and easy. You can move around a little bit. You can practice off of going different angles if you fancy that. So you can go, oh. Okay, we just play around. I quite like this as it warms up your knees and your ankles in a slightly different way. Nice. Okay, cool. So, my timer is all set up, which is awesome. Uh, we are ready to go as soon as I get into this. The first rep, so remember what I said, we're gonna do, uh, my timer's only set up for minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, a minute of double legs, minute duck unders, minute Charlie Chaplin's, which we'll get onto, which is gonna be a fun one for some of you guys. And then we're gonna do a uh, double leg duck under Charlie Chaplin sequence for two minutes, all right? And this first round, so the intensity is gonna get, um, it's gonna fluctuate a little bit first round. I really want it to be as like more of a bit of a warm up round. Round, the second round is gonna be more intense. Middle round, slightly less intense, but should be very fluid. Fourth round, uh, slightly less intense. And then the last round should be super, super intense. So guns to the wall for that one. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna pop my timer over here so you guys can see it as well. I got hopefully full volume, and we're gonna start just with our double legs. So we're gonna be moving around. Nice simple movement, let's check the time. Perfect, oh that is loud. Drive in, let's through. So I'm here, just stepping into my position. You know, we can talk about using the walls as well. And I'm just working through my double leg sequencing. Okay, getting my hand played, coming into position. Okay, and again, remember, this is our warm up round. Okay, not necessarily warm up, well, it is a warm up round, but it's just more to uh, like get us loose, penetrate, get low, work through the position. Okay, I should be pushing forwards and then shooting off to the side. Okay, coming forwards, shooting off to the side. Do you know, sometimes I'll put this hand to the ground. Let's just take my knees a little bit. Okay. Here yeah, you can practice coming with your hands forwards. So when I shoot, hands are in tight. Okay, and then they come up and go to the position. Okay, hands are in tight, come up, drive to the position. Man, this is loud. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. That's good, it's a bit loud. Okay, a little change, coming through. 
Okay, we're going to our duck under. So we're going to be in like a low position here. My hips come forwards. Okay, I'm going to turn in towards my partner. Okay, so it's like someone's trying to get a guillotine on me. I duck and turn. Or you can do it from all the way down on the ground. Duck and turn. So you can come off your shot and turn towards them. In, so my hips go forward, head goes back, and then I turn. Okay. So I'm here, trying to get my, my level change, hip and head, turn it around. Hip and head, turn around. Okay, or from the ground, same thing, and turn. Okay, from the ground, hip, head, turn around. So I should pretty much go 180 degrees, turn. Okay, I'm down, here, hip goes forwards, head goes back, turning towards the corner. Okay, again, it's going to work your hips a little bit. Oh, Charlie Chaplin, kind of a drop takedown. So all I'm going to do is step forwards, drop, come up onto my shoulder, come back to my feet. Step forwards, drop, come up to my feet. Okay, so I'm stepping kind of into that Cossack position, coming up over the top. Just imagining that I've got like a, a body lock on the person. I'm stepping to push, get them to push back. If they push back, I drop over the top. And then I'm just rolling. And often I'll use that other leg, just like a butterfly hook to bring myself over. So if you're anything like me, with the legs should be starting to talk to you, as one of my friends says. Now we put it all together. So we go level check, sit through, walk, Charlie Chap, back up. Yeah, moving around, level change, here, sit, sit, and I'll sit through. Duck under, walking forwards, walking forwards, Charlie Chap. Okay, penetration, sit, uh, duck under. I can I get that right? Look. So we're trying to connect that, like make those connections. Level chain. Turn. Yeah. Roll back over. Level chain. Sit through. Up. Come back out. Remember, this one we're doing for two minutes. Ah. Oh. Turn. Turn, see? Try and grab my neck, turn in towards them, connect my hands, drop down. Okay, keep it going. We've got another minute to go on this. Level change. Dark under. Oh, and this way. Yeah, moving around. Level change. Start to pick up the pace a little bit. Level change. Keep your breathing relaxed. Back up. Do it, keep it going. That was just an extra body lock. Okay, we're back into uh, double legs again. So just working through the movement. This is going to be real muscular endurance as we go through this. So, try to keep good posture and keep good technique. So, in, legs to the side, drive it up. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, goodness. 15 seconds. Ah, the worst thing is I know what's coming next. Okay, 
We're going to step ups. Stepping up those legs. Remember you can do this as well against the wall to keep your posture strong. Really feel energetic. Jump ups. Nice, keep it working. Pull the burn. 30 seconds. Remember always chest up, good posture. So when I'm here, I'm not leaning forwards, I'm under my own steam. This is not like doing two billion squats. Now into our Toriano, so I'm here, drop into our bear crawl. Oh. Remember, good posture the whole time. So I'm flat, come around, yeah, come around. All the way to 90 degrees, chest up, head up. Hands down, pinning a hip, pinning a knee, cut around to the corner. You need to rest, try and rest in your sit resting stance. Imagine you're keeping it engaged. And drop it. And then we're gonna put all these three together. Okay, so all together. Three, we go double leg here. Imagine we get caught in close guard. Step up, to reander. So double leg, drive, close guard. Step up, to reander. So you notice I'm driving sideways and crab walking. Okay, double leg, drive, step up, to reander. Moving around, hand plane, double leg, drop. Here, yeah, they catch me, close guard, step up, a turn. Let's go the other way, so you guys can see. Here, yeah. double leg, drive, close guard, step it up, to reander. Or double leg, drive, step it up, to reander. So I'm not waiting in my close guard. Oh, that's only sprawled on me. Let's sit out and start again. Double leg, drive, step it up, to reander. Good, stepping it up to the end. Switch the other leg. Come here, posture. Step up to the end. Double leg, drive. Good, posture. Stepping it up to the end. So, the second they open those guard, you're going to be able to drop into it. Drive. Good. Posture, up, and then to the end. 20 seconds. Try and get one more out. And then, oh, not quite so much length for my guard. We're doing our forward sweep movement. So I'm here, circling, coming up. I'm here, circling, coming up. Try not to kick your legs out too much. I'm here, playing guard, and come up. Whew. Playing guard, coming up. Whew. Whew. So it's like I'm trying to come up on a, an ankle pick. And I want to maintain this space hidden as best as I can. So we play ankle pick. Ankle pick. Just using this egg beat here. So I'm trying to mimic my guard. They step back. Oh, I come up. Quick. 
Now guess what we got next? Back into our double legs. I know you guys love these right now. Try to do the entire round of doing two at a time. So you got one leg, drive to the other. One leg, and straight away, go to the other leg. So if I'm over here, we go one, one, switching, driving. One, switch, drive. This is just a way of forcing you to work a little bit harder. <laughs> I'm forcing myself to work a little bit harder. It's not just about you. Nice. Okay, now jump overs. So pick in a line and jump. Yeah? Head and legs go on one side. Let me go the other. So I'm facing towards the camera. It's like I finished. I need to clear my legs to the other side. This one you might want to use a dummy on to support your shoulders. But honestly, any kind of line on the floor, I got a line here. I can work it really easily. We're gonna use this movement like our partner's tied up the guillotine and they're trying to go to close guard. So we wanna jump our head. So they're tying up my head, I need to get my legs to the other side to defend the guillotine, okay? That's the purpose when we come to connect this. Super common when you're coming up off the bottom. So I'm here. Oh, God, I come up, I drive, I grab my head, I jump my legs to the other side. So if I shoot, if I'm shooting with this leg in front, I know my head's gonna go here, I have to jump my legs to the opposite side. Okay, so, you know, playing out, I explode, drive, jump my legs. Okay, oh, I'm back on the ground. Coming up off the bottom, shoot through, jump those legs. Back on the ground. Explode up. Here's my top of leg. Oh, you caught my head. Jump it up. Back on the ground. Coming up here. Driving into my double leg. Jump. Back on the ground. Ah, he's got my head. Oh, go to the side. Explode up. Drive it in. Oh. Those legs up. From here. Coming up. Driving in. Oh, he's got my head. Jump those legs. So my left leg's in front. I'm gonna be grabbing my head here. So I need to jump my left to my, my legs to my left. Coming up, so I got my right leg in front. Shooting here. Whoop. Jump it up. Back on the ground. Explode up. Whoop. Whoop. Next one's gonna be a little easier. Sort of. Your bridge. Now right, explode into the bridge. Push up the ground. So I'm in side control. We're exploding in towards them. We didn't do two minutes of that. Yeah, we did. Okay. Engage those hips. Yeah, explode. Engage those hips. Hop, explode. Try and get out the habit of stamping. Gives your partner a visual cue of what you're doing. Just have the feet close up. Try and generate that force. Ah, 
Okay, now, next move, we're gonna shrimp. My legs are gonna come behind me. I'm gonna crawl up to the turtle, lay back down on the ground. Okay, so I shrimp. Leg comes behind me. Work my way up to a turtle, to here. And I'm gonna sit my way back down. Okay, shrimp. Leg behind, up to a turtle. Sit back on the knee. Shrimp. Leg behind, up to a turtle. Back to me. Try and stay as low and as flat to the ground. So when I'm here, we're really bringing this one in as wide as I can here. So I've got those grips if necessary. I'm pulling myself up. So I'm flat, pulling myself in, getting those toes on the mat. And here, as I go, I'm reaching for the single leg, bringing myself back up, back to our double legs. What you might want to do is practice them from here. So you're learning how to exploit up, up your knees. Step the leg, try them in. Second that leg comes up, so I'm here. Leg comes up, I'm driving in. And then thinking about getting that posture back, straight away. Three seconds, we put all this together. Okay, so, we're gonna bridge first. Shrimp, come up to my knees, drive in. Okay, bridge. Shrimp, and then comes behind. Up to my grip. Step, drive. Okay, right. shrimp, in, drive. So I'm connecting my escapes now into rest now. Remember, we've got two minutes of this. Minute more. Okay, remember, this is probably the easiest round of all of them. It's intentional. Try and get at least one more in. The last round, we're gonna go balls to the wall. So first part, we're gonna sprawl. Drop those hips down, try and get up to the mat as quick as you can. This is a round, you really wanna spike your heart rate. Seconds. And guess what comes next? Oh, yes. Oh. 
Now, double legs again. Try to explode into everyone. Let's do our twos again. Okay, one, two, one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Oh. Legs again. Down. One. Two. Okay, sit out. Run off walls. Clear and turn. Clear and turn. It's a bit like our duck under. From here, the hip goes forward, head goes back. Turn the corner. And all three go together for two minutes. So, four, two, sit down. They shoot. Oh, I use that time to shoot in. And then they sprawl on me. So I clear. Oh, shoot. Oh, clear. One more minute. Here we go. Don't accept bad reps. As you can tell, it is now time. It's time for you to die. Or at least if you've done that properly, it's a good time to die. So, whole goal of this workout, we're going to let you in on the secret. The whole goal was about the double leg, okay? Developing the posture, developing the drive, and getting low to the ground. Okay, so there's savage on the legs, you know. But like we've done, man, I probably did a couple of hundred reps easy with my double leg, okay, which is great. And then I connected it to some quite important movements as well, you know. Things that are gonna happen, you know, you shoot, someone's gonna snag a guillotine, and you wanna be able to stuff that leg, jump over, be in side control, so you don't get the risk of being guillotined. You know? 
if you shoot on someone, they're gonna try and sprawl on you. So you, you know, go to your sit out, they try to guillotine you, you use your duck under. Or you come up off the bottom and hit that double leg is a great way to sweep. You know, particularly towards the end of matches when people are tired, they're not thinking about defending anymore. All right guys, so that was the goal for today. Okay, kind of hit it in there. Well, I didn't hit it in there. I like, kind of hit you over the head with, with it. But it's all about the double leg, all about working that posture, working that drive. I hope you guys found this useful. Please drop me a comment, give me a like, follow me on all the, all of the different social medias. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you found it useful, please let me know. That makes my day when I, when I see people like tagging me and stuff. It's just, it means that all this energy and effort that I'm putting into it is worthwhile. So uh, hopefully we can reopen and get on the mats properly soon. Until then, thank you for training with me. Uh, you guys rock, and I will see you very soon, hopefully. Oh,